Do you know that you are all wonderful singers? <laughs> Do you know that your body is an instrument with an infinite palette of colors and harmonics just waiting to be explored? Well, I do. I'm singing opera and classical music, and in my studio near to Brussels and throughout Europe, I'm guiding people to find harmony through singing. It's my aim that anyone can become, just as I did, the singer he or she truly is. Of course, you could think that the speech is only for people who like to sing, who love to sing, but before entering, I saw you all speaking with each other. So if you can speak, why couldn't you speak too? And why couldn't you sing too? What counts for me is that anyone can touch his true vocal nature, that anyone can engage this incredible vocal source related to our vital energy, so he can find freedom, inner freedom, so he can touch music. Because everybody can feel music. This intangible dimension that you cannot see and you cannot touch, but you can hear it and you can feel it. It is something you have to experience. So let's give it a try. When a conductor comes in front of his orchestra, he is doing this. Do you feel your attention? Do you feel how we are all connected in the silence? In the silence, the music is already present. She is always there. We just have to tune in. And then she can have an impact on us. I'm sure you all remember when you listened to music during a concert or on a CD, that afterwards you felt better, as if something were healed. So can you imagine that instead of listening to music, you are becoming the instrument. You are producing a complete, unique sound never ever have been produced before. And can you imagine then, which is the impact of this sound on yourself and on your environment? What is the character of your sound? I'm sure you all heard yourself already on a recorder or on a video and that you were saying, oh my God, is that me? That's not my voice. But it is your voice. So it might be interesting to improve your relationship with it. And this relationship is very complex, very intimate. I'm sure when I would ask you to come up here on stage and sing a song, you won't jump all together to come. <laughs> and sometimes our voice, she doesn't express what we really feel. So we are responding, yes, and inside we are thinking, no. Or our voice change sometimes in color and in strength according to the person we are talking to. Or maybe you felt already too stressed when you had to speak in public. You felt blocked by too many emotions. Well, your singing voice can liberate your body from all these layers of armor that we've built during the years to protect ourselves and not without any reason. The art of singing can free us so we dare to speak up. 
how can our singing voice and our speaking voice reflect our authentic, free and original nature? The poet from Lebanon, Khalil Gibran, he wrote it very, very beautifully. Your body is the harp of your soul. And it is yours to bring forth sweet music from it or confused sounds. You have the choice. But to be able to choose, of course, we have to connect with all these harmonics. If I would speak to you during the whole speech like this, with this kind of voice, I think you will become very irritated and very annoyed and you will become tired and I will become tired and you will only think, when will she stop? But if I speak to you with this kind of voice, I'm using much more harmonics. I'm using also the harmonics from my chest. I want to embrace you all with my voice. I want to invite you to listen to my message. I'm making music. So sometimes we are touched and sometimes not by a song or by a message or by a speech. I notice every time I'm teaching a group when a person finds this wonderful connection between his voice and the music that everyone's attention is on him. We are captivated and we are touched. I call it, we are finding our sacred chord. It's that ah moment, that moment that everything becomes simple and unified and that we are saying, yes, this is me, this is it. Is that moment of grace that is so difficult to explain in, your, in our human language. If I could show you the light that comes on in people's eyes or the tears that appear every time they feel this vibration and how their voices reflect immediately much more harmonics. They are singing in tune, they are singing in rhythm, and their song becomes alive. They become more alive. I'm searching constantly for this moment of presence, existence, and truthfulness. The music we are producing mirrors our inner being. My voice reflects who I am today and it's my constant demand to improve my instrument, to grow in harmonics, to grow as a human being. It's also very beautiful to see how in different languages there is a relationship between my voice and my vocation. Trovo la mia voce, la mia vocazione. Ik vind mijn stem, ik vind mijn bestemming, mijn stem en mijn bestemming. En in Français, je trouve ma voix avec X en je trouve ma voix avec E. So the more we become aware of this vocal potential, the more we become in harmony with the path we choose in life. I have an infinite number of stories of people who change their life direction just because they become more connected with their true vocal nature. In fact, my own story is a very convincing example. As a young, talented musician, I wanted to sing. It was not that I loved it, but I had to do it. It was a calling. And I worked very hard in the conservatory producing and projecting sounds just as they were expected from me. And I remember, as if it were yesterday, that I was on stage and my voice stopped responding. I was 22 years old. It was a traumatic experience. I became ill, I became 
depressed, and it was only through willpower that I could earn my diploma, but without any joy. So at that time, I had only one, le one goal in life, and it was to feel free again, to sing again without any barrier. And I focused on this relationship between my true vocal nature and the healing power of music. And then, many years later, I auditioned again. And I got a big role. And others followed as Tosca and Manolescu and Zenta, Nabucco, Fidelio. And you can imagine how grateful I am that I could sing on stage again. But my personal story brought me a much, much bigger gift. It opened my heart for myself, but also for the potential that is present in every human being. My voice showed me my path, which is to share this healing journey. And I've now guided thousands of people with all different backgrounds. And I love my work with all my heart just because I know that everybody can touch this oh, moment in any second. So there was in a workshop a little strong man who told me that he felt as if his voice were betraying me. And he did it with a very tiny, timid voice. So we start to sing. And after 30 seconds, there was a wonderful, huge, generous tenor voice that appeared. And when I asked him to express himself with this kind of voice, not only he, but the other participants were utterly astonished, as if a whole new person were speaking. And he was really impressive. So our vocal personality transform little by little, to approach our true nature. And we find a new balance between our physical, our emotional, mental, and musical or spiritual aspects. The music will find his way through us. The music becomes our guide, and we we become the channel for it. So can you imagine a world in which every person touch this sacred court? I think we would make a wonderful sound together. And of course, I'm very, very curious to know what is the sound of the TEDx Ghent audience from today. <laughs> so are you ready for an experience? <laughs> yes? So may I ask you all to stand up because... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I just want you to touch this vocal potential that is present in you. And I know that for some people, it's maybe the first time they sing. So don't listen to your neighbor. Just enjoy the feeling from this. <laughs> I thought you were an enthusiastic audience, so... Very good, and now I will give you a little trick. Can you take a big breath, and it's very strange, but it helped me so much during the years, and it's a little bit as if you are suffocating, and it's going like this. Can you try it once? And... And let it go. And once more. And I see the breasts come open. And once more, and we will sing with it. Breathe. Yes, and there we go. And take a big breath. 
Yes, and the ladies too. With much more power. Once more, yes, and and that was the most difficult one. So let's do it now on the O. Yes, on yo. I take it a little bit here. Let's do it. Take a big breath. Very suffocating. Oh yes, for a big, big orchestra. Yes, very good. And and feel your stomach. Give everything you have. Yes, and once more. Yes, also there on the balcony. The last one and wonderful. And I think we should try it on a song. <laughs> Normally it has to come. I this is Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. I do you know this song? Yes, we will try it once, the first strophe. We can do it already together, I think. Okay. Yeah. Take a big breath and... Oh, when the saints go marching in Oh, when the saints go marching in Okay, that was kind, that was nice. But now if you have an orchestra, there are 70, 80 instruments and you don't have a microphone. So please take a big breath and we will do the two straws. Do you feel ready? Open the chest. Let's have a big breathing. <gasps> okay. Now let's go. Oh, when the saints go marching in Sounds great. <laughs> this is really a unique sound, and I would uh, like to invite you all to dare to speak up with this voice that you felt. Thank you very much.